In this video, we will be discussing the process of cross-selling multiple product solutions during one individual presentation. The issue that many agents have with cross-selling is that their presentation is one-dimensional. This usually happens because the agent sets the stage to talk about one particular product from the very beginning. For example, a Medicare supplement salesman often says to the consumer, let me tell you about how Medicare works. The final expense salesman often starts a conversation by discussing funeral expenses. The long-term care agent often starts a conversation by explaining how expensive nursing homes really are. If the prospect doesn't need or is not interested in that particular product, then the agent must give up on the presentation or change direction. This is what we refer to as making a rotation in your presentation. This can be a difficult task for many agents. The agent is trying to avoid sounding like a used car salesman. Typically, this scenario happens because what the agent says and what the consumer hears is often perceived differently. The consumer often perceives the agent as saying, if you don't need a Medicare supplement, how about a burial policy? Oh, you don't need a burial policy? How about some nursing home insurance? The problem is, a presentation based on creating a need for multiple product solutions was never established. When the agent ran into a dead end on their initial presentation, they had to establish a new presentation flow, or in other words, start all over. The key is to start the presentation in a way that creates a discussion on multiple product solutions without a rotation in the presentation. It is important to properly set the stage for the presentation from the very beginning. In addition, many agents bring out presentation materials too fast. This causes the prospect to immediately get defensive and immediately start to think, here comes the pitch. Some agents don't use presentation material for fear that they look like a salesman. However, these materials can provide the value of a third-party influence and can help enhance the agent's credibility. The key to making a successful cross-selling presentation is remembering three important but simple rules. First, always properly set the stage for the presentation from the very beginning. Second, never bring out presentation materials before the prospect asks you to do so. And third, verify your facts by utilizing third-party materials. Do not expect a prospect to make a decision solely based on your word or opinion. The presentation format that we are about to review was designed to provide you with a template for achieving those three objectives. Let's start by talking about how you can set the stage for your presentation, giving yourself the ability to present Medicare supplements, final expense, short-term care insurance, hospital indemnity, cancer programs, critical illness, or single premium life insurance using one presentation format. First of all, it's important to acknowledge what all of these products have in common. Each of these products are commonly considered to be senior market products. The key is to find topics that will allow you to have a conversation covering all of the products and then convert those topics into a single presentation theme. Now, let's look at topics that relate to each of these products. Medicare has changes annually in deductibles and copays, which in turn affects Medicare supplement policies. Social Security has a limited benefit for funeral expenses and limitations on survivor's insurance benefits. Typically, Social Security is discussed when presenting final expense or single premium life insurance as a solution for funeral expenses or income replacement. Medicare payments based on the prospective payment system have impacted the utilization of nursing homes for short-term recuperative stays. This has created a need for short-term nursing home insurance. Many people that enter a nursing home may ultimately have to depend on Medicaid benefits. However, qualifying for these benefits is based on the income and assets of the applicant. This means that a person's income and assets are used first to cover the cost of care prior to Medicaid eligibility. Often, hybrid life insurance policies along with a short-term care insurance policy can provide a better solution than relying on Medicaid. Shortfalls in Medicare Part C could expose a person to thousands of dollars in out-of-pocket expenses. This is especially true for critical illnesses. These shortfalls can be addressed by using cancer, critical illness, and hospital indemnity insurance. Therefore, it would appear that all of these products can be covered in one discussion about Medicare 
Medicaid, and Social Security. Often, agents make the mistake of setting the stage for their presentation based on only one of these topics. For example, the Medicare supplement agent wants to explain Medicare, and the final expense agent wants to discuss the Social Security death benefit. The agent discussing nursing home benefits wants to explain Medicaid eligibility. In order to present multiple product solutions and increase your cross-selling opportunities, the presentation should discuss Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. So let's take a look at our second rule. Never bring out presentation material until the prospect asks you to do so. Setting the stage to discuss Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security and getting the prospective client to ask you to discuss those three topics with them is relatively easy. Often agents make the mistake of starting a conversation by telling the prospective client that they are going to explain what is covered by Medicare, Social Security, or Medicaid. Then they'll whip out a pad of paper or some other form of presentation material and start a presentation. Or worse, they could rely on a strictly verbal conversation without the use of any third-party information to verify that what they are stating is actually true. What we want you to do is stop telling people what is covered and focus on the mentality of discussing what is not covered. Try using the following. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, what most people tell me is that they get inundated with information from all over the place on what Medicare does, what Medicaid does, or what Social Security does. However, what most people share with me is that what they are really concerned about is what is not taken care of between Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Has anyone ever really explained to you what is not taken care of between those three governmental programs? The key here is to stress the word really in a way that it creates doubt. Their response typically will be no or not really. Respond by saying, would you like me to do that for you? The prospect will generally respond by saying yes or something equivalent. You have now set the stage for your presentation and most importantly, the prospective client asked you to explain or present the facts. Getting the prospective client to ask you for the facts eliminates the problem of your presentation being viewed as a sales pitch. Instead, they will now perceive it as an educational process. We recommend using our TGA presentation material called Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. This material is available in the file vault and is designed to help you make a presentation based on what is not covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. This brings us to our third rule, which is verify your facts with third-party materials. This material will provide you with a systematic approach and help provide credibility to your presentation. Do not make the mistake of looking at this material as a crutch or thinking that you are so good that you have all the information stored in your head. Do not expect a prospective client to make a decision solely based on your word or opinion. Since most agents have some familiarity with the benefits of Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, the other chapters in this training module are geared around learning the technique of how to use this presentation as a tool to gather pertinent facts and set the stage for cross-selling. It is very important that you understand how to use this material to collect the information needed for making effective cross-sales presentations.